Dotty Ace is my favorite mouse for double clicking while still competing with high quality mouses like the G Pro Superlight. The Superlight for most is the best mouse for Minecraft but does not have adjustable debounce which is a deal breaker for some. So today I introduced the Hottie Ace Wireless. It comes with one of the best packaging on a mouse I've ever seen and comes with a metal box that has a cable that is really good to use with the mouse in wired mode. The cable also acts as the wireless dongle extender to get the mouse as close as possible to the wireless dongle. It comes with an extra PTFE feet and a set of ceramic feet. There is a complete set of grip tape that is useful for drag clicking but razor grip tape or other grip tape is better in my opinion but at least it comes with the grip tape the debounce on this mouse goes to 0ms and comes with a 4ms debounce and 500 hertz pulling rate out of the box so i would recommend downloading the software the software was an easy process to download and use the mouse will cover your drag clicking needs and is still really good for jitter the mouse comes equipped with kl8.0 and a 3370 sensor of course the mouse has no sensor issues and the switches feel light and snappy The side buttons were also very snappy and their position for me was easy to press. I've noticed that this mouse does slam click and registers when I slam it. The mouse comes around 58 grams and is a good weight, but I feel like they could have lowered it since the super light has no holes and is bigger but is barely heavier. The mouse is front heavy but it didn't affect me in game and it was hard to notice. The battery life is not the greatest, lasting for around a week, but this is still pretty good. Now this is with 1000 pulling rate. The shape is pretty small and is really good for claw and for minecraft is also really good. The mouse button area for your fingers is big enough for me to fit two fingers and most people can as well. However, if you have really wide hands and cannot stand your fingers poking out when butterflying, then there is a bigger size coming out soon. And there's also other mouses that if you cannot wait. The stock skates were also really good and I don't feel like it is required to replace it, but there are some better aftermarket skates. I didn't really like the ceramic skates that it comes with and on my Razor Strider it felt really scratchy, but you can still try it out for yourself if you like them. For $120, this mouse is for people who want double clicking and still have good quality and really good for FPS. If you jitter, I would get the super light since the switches do feel a little bit easier to jitter, but if you wanted a mini super light, then this mouse is perfect. There's also the wireless model D slash O minus which also is amazing for Minecraft but does lack some things like good stock skates. It doesn't have the same premium feeling as the Hottie Ace and it's also not really the greatest for other games. I would say the best alternative for this mouse is probably the Cone Pro Air but that mouse has an ergo shape. There's also the Sim 2 from Ponage and is also a really good mouse for Minecraft that doesn't throw away quality but between them for is the shape since the Sim 2 is closer to the Viper Mini and I have not fully held the mouse. This mouse is definitely my new main and will definitely save my rotation.